with this uh, continuing the month. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Hidden Universal Vault. Once again, I'm Ryan. We're going to continue continue with the Land Before Time series. This time we're taking a look at Land Before, Land Before Time 3, The Time of the Great Giving. This is the third in the Land Before Time series and this was released in 1995. And this basically focused more of the same formula, but I think this one's a little better. Basically, Louisville and his friends are basically sort of like uh, they're they're in the Great Valley, back to the Great Valley, and they and they realize that the valley's dried up with no water. So their goal is, along with his family, are trying to find a place where there's water. However, there was a big fire that went on. So, in the beginning of the film, we're introduced to the three, well, generic characters. They're so generic, I just don't understand why these side characters are so generic. Their idea is, they're like the bullies. This one deals with the moral value of bullying, and that's really about it. I don't really say. Now, in terms of this film, it's not bad. Actually, I think it's okay. I don't say this is not like the sequel. I don't think this is a hidden hidden masterpiece. The songs, just like the second one, three songs were put into this film. And as annoying as they are, the last song in the film is not bad. Basically, at the beginning, there's no songs. We don't get until a quarter into the film where we're introduced to the villains. And honestly, I can't it's really hard for me to review the sequels when I don't have much to say about them. So Basically, then it deals with the parents, they're fighting and arguing, they have to limit on water. Basically, they have to limit water usage. So Lilfa goes out with his friends to go find a place where there's lots of water. And, once again, the cast is really about the same. Rob Paulson comes back again, but voices a different character. He voices another character. Though, I thought the main... The main main villain, well he's not really a villain, but he kind of is. I thought it was Danny Cooksey, who was, uh, most people know him as Stoop Kid, um, from Hey Arnold, but I was wrong. Uh, Will Hap, not Will Hap, uh, the character's name is Hap, which, yeah, they're starting to get these generic, generic villains, or villains, they're not really mentioned, but honestly, I can easily say I don't know. It has good automation, but the problem is they keep recycling some of the same music again. And I don't mind a movie that recycles. And this movie played on Cartoon Network's Cartoon Theater back in the 90s, so a lot of you guys probably have seen it off of there. I never saw it off of Cartoon Network, so the only thing I know is I saw an advertisement and it's a long clip right. Oh yeah, Cartoon Theater played it on their network. But, like I said, uh, Sarah's father plays a factor in this, so he goes by name Mr. Treehorn. But, yeah, don't, don't mind that, just letting you know. But, I don't know. I, somebody like me will say this was enjoyable. The animation is stellar. I For a 1995 film, I think as the movies get picked up, the animation gets a lot better. One positive I can easily say, there was one song I thought was mm, charming. But that's very few far between in the movie that deals with singing. So, I'm trying to think of what else. I thought this was going to be bad, but I was left off with just, okay. If the songs are not involved in this, I would definitely recommend the third one out of the first two. I would easily say the third one was better than the first. But when you add singing in the film, and that's the downside of these movies. As time and time, the songs get worse. But honestly, this is not that bad. Again, this is not a bad movie. It's very enjoyable. It has a very good moral of not yelling at your kids. And it does teach a great moral. There's a great moral value in this. So, yeah, that's that's all I can say with these films. I can easily say, I'm just going to run run it down. Final verdict. 
is the time of the great giving worth seeing? And my answer would be is, yes, I would say. But, and the songs, I would say no. If they knew the songs, I would easily recommend this. If you have, if you can find this on YouTube, or if you still have a rental store, Redbox, I will say to rent, yes, this is worth renting. This movie is worth a rental if you still have rental stores. To buy it, only if you're completing the series. I would only say it would have been an automatic no, but I did enjoy this than the previous film I reviewed. I will usually say between uh, the first and third, first, second, and third, the first movie is a classic. The sequel mm, is okay, but this one is definitely at least worth watching once to say, I watched the third movie, say, I've watched them. I'm not sure about the later films. Hopefully they might get better. I'm, I'm enjoying them so far. I don't think they're bad. They're just mediocre. If you remove the music, it just would be a mediocre franchise. But that's all I'm really going to say with a film that focus on that. But we'll see as the films, we'll see maybe they might get better as they progress. I, again, I was surprised. I enjoyed it. But I don't know if anybody else will enjoy this like I did. So I'm going to leave it at that. Sorry I don't have much for a film like this. The voice cast is about the same. There's no new stars in this movie, so it's more or less just the same. So, I'm going to sign off. Not much to say about this film. It's kind of a short, short review. But, come back next time, and come back next time. We're going back to the Fast and Furious movies, and I'm just going to give away the next review. Fast Five will be up next for the review. So, I'm going to sign off. I'm Ryan Kinnar. Thank you for joining. Thank you for watching the video. If you like what you see, go ahead and follow my social media pages. Go ahead and click subscribe, ring the bell. I'm also on Twitter. Link will be on my main page. Maybe down with you, I'm not really sure. But anyways, you can find me on twitter.com slash ryanokinnar14. If you click that on my YouTube page, you'll find my link to my Twitter page. Let me know if you think the third is good. If you like the third, let me know. Let me know in the comments what you think about this film. Let's have a discussion, though. So, I'm going to leave it at that. Hopefully you'll come back for the fifth installment of Fast and Furious. My next review will be Fast Five. Pretty excited to watch that. But, it's something I've seen before, but I haven't reviewed it on my page. So, you might want to join in for that. Uh, so, I will see you guys next time. Bye.